Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can pass data in navigation component. So basically, we need to follow two steps here. First one is to we need to add the arguments that we want to pass from one fragment to another fragment. And also we need to uh, use safeguard to pass and to receive the arguments. We can also use bundles, but uh, safeguard is the recommended way because it ensures type safe navigation so first let me go to the main graph so i'm using the same project that i shown you in our previous tutorial okay here suppose uh this is the first fragment and here we have two buttons second and third if i click on the second then it moves to this second fragment so suppose we want to pass two values to the second fragment for that just click on this argument and click on this plus button here so here you uh, the first one is the name that we can add the name of the argument suppose it is my integer and also we can uh, check the type of this value so let it is in the integer i can give it as integer also we can give one array and for an array of integers we can also mark it as nullable suppose it is an integer and it's not an array and we can also pass on the def default value so what is this zero then click on add it will add this argument here let me add one more argument it it is my string my steer and its type is string string can be nullable so i can check this nullable property here and i can also give null as the default value and if you move to this code then you can see that for this fragment two arguments are added the first one is the integer and the second one is the string now we need to pass these arguments from the first fragment and we will receive these arguments in the second fragment for passing and receiving arguments we need to use safeguards so the first thing we need to use this in the dependencies tab so you can simply search on google for like safeguard dependencies and you can get this class part name for that let me move to our project and in this project builder cradle file i need to add it here and one more line is required it is this plugin for kotlin this plugin we need to add this plugin we can add in this module level builder cradle file and here i can add this plugin now let me sync the project the project sync is done let's try to get read the uh, arguments first we are reading it in the second fragment because we are passing the argument to the second fragment so for that first i need to use this uh, args uh, variable so you can get the arguments using this second fragment args this is a class that is created by the safe args So you, I can use by nefargs and it will hold the arguments, this variable, this args. So let's use one toast to show this. So we can make text, we can pass the activity as the context and using this args, this variable args. So we can get all these values that we're passing to this fragment so you can see that we can access this my string and my integer so let me add this my string also args dot my integer both then those dot land sort and let me call this so and it will show this those messages with both of these strings and these integers let me restart app okay now if i click on the second button then it is showing null and zero 
that means the string is null and the integer value is zero because we have set it as the default values for this my string and my integer now let's try to pass the values so in the my first fragment we are calling it whenever we are uh, clicking on this button so this is down click listener and inside this we can pass these values so for that we have one class that is generated by the safe verbs it's called first fragment directions so the fragment name plus directions so we are calling from this first fragment so it says first fragment directions dot and this is the action name action first fragment to second fragment so if you go to my main graph and if you click on this action then you can see that this is the action first fragment to second fragment so it, this method is created automatically in camel case so we can use the same method to pass both the integer and the string value suppose i am passing 11 as the mind and a string is hello let me keep it in a different variable action and in this navigate method we don't have to call this we can simply pass the action now if i restart the app now if i call this click on this second button then you can see that hello and 11 is called 11 is showing because we are passing it from here so that's all for now so i hope that you learned how we can pass data in a nav navigation component so if you have any questions or anything you want to ask me please drop one comment below and also if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks bye